On wedding night, the king ignored wife's feelings and used her as a tool for lust. After wedding, he even made love to prostitute in front of her. In the late 18th century, Europe was in the midst of the Enlightenment. Caroline, an English girl, was arranged to marry the king of Denmark as a child. Caroline was always prepared to be a good queen. She had never met Christian, but had heard from others that he was the perfect husband. Caroline had always looked forward to meeting him. One day, a Danish carriage came to meet her, and after a long journey, she arrived in Denmark. But the king was not as perfect as they said. He was short and had mental problems. After sharing a room with Caroline, he made love to someone else, and he did it with impunity. Caroline was very disappointed. Luckily, she soon became pregnant and used it as an excuse not to have contact with the king. Nine months later, she gave birth to a prince, and the king was traveling to Europe. In the process, a doctor, Johann, came to the king's attention. Johann became his personal physician. He accompanied the king on his tour of Europe and followed him back to the palace. Johann gradually gained the king's trust. One day, the king arranged for Caroline to go to Johann's residence for a checkup. Caroline discovered that Johann was hiding a forbidden book on freedom of speech. Caroline didn't reveal him, but wanted to borrow it. This gives Johann a different view of the queen. They begin to communicate. They rode horses together and discussed their dreams and saw how people suffered under the oppression of the aristocracy. And they both had a passion for freedom. Soon after, there was an outbreak of smallpox in Denmark, and many commoners' children died. Johann develops a vaccine and proposes to give it to the prince. But the nobles oppose it at the insistence of Caroline and the king. The prince is successfully vaccinated against smallpox. After that, Caroline proposes to the council that all the hospitals in the city be vaccinated. This made Johann appreciate the queen even more. Together, they discuss how to make the country and its people truly free. Caroline suggested that Johann use the king's trust in him to get involved in the council. Thanks to their efforts, many policies for the good of the people began to be implemented. The feudal policies are abolished and Johann and Caroline dance happily together. But because of the king's presence, they never dared to cross the line. One night, at Caroline's initiative, she had sex with Johann. Together, they influenced the feudal society and were in love. But the ministers of parliament said something was wrong. The king's laws were always rejected and he gradually lost confidence. The nobles also felt that Johann was influencing their interests. When they found out he was an enlightenment man, they tried to expel him. When Johann was taken away, the king finally exploded. He abolished parliament and put everything in the hands of the cabinet. At last, they succeeded. All their dreams became reality. Over the next few months, many laws were enacted and Denmark became an advanced country at the forefront of reform. Johann had absolute power, but at that very moment, Caroline became pregnant, her and Johann's child. In order to keep the baby, Caroline had to have sex with the king and keep her distance from Johann, but their affair was discovered by the king's stepmother. Soon after, Caroline gave birth to a baby girl. The king's stepmother and members of the council discuss how to bring down Johann. They publicized their affair all over the city and the rumor spread. Overnight, all the news was about their affair. Johann was pressured to reinstate the censorship system. Caroline was so stressed that she had to take opium to sleep, and the king was at odds with Johann because of the publicity. The relationship between the two men began to unravel. While they were at their weakest, the stepmother and the deposed members of the council broke into the palace. They came to the king's bedchamber at night and coaxed him into signing an arrest warrant. The cowardly king took them at their word and signed the warrant. Johann was taken away. He was guillotined for abuse of power and violation of the king's honor. After Johann's death, Denmark reverted to the pre-reform period. All of Europe prospered, except Denmark. Caroline was deported to Germany and separated from her children. The king's power was divided among the members of parliament. Five years later, Caroline became seriously ill. On her deathbed, she wrote a letter containing all the truth and had it taken to her children. Shortly after Caroline died, the children received the letter. After learning all the truth, A, along with the king, launched a coup d'etat, expelled the members of the cabinet, and restored the system that Johann had set in place before his death. But were the people really liberated? In the midst of this change, the people laughed at Johann and Caroline's affair, but never realized how hard they had worked for reform. When Johann was sent to the guillotine, then the masses watched. At the moment of the nightfall, looking at the people they had worked for, Johann shed tears. At that moment, he realizes that reform is never just about policy, but about people's hearts. This is the end of this movie. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe if you like. See you next time.